This week in Epixel Skyblock, a few things happened and in this video, I'll be covering most of them. Again, we are this close to hitting 30k before April 14th. So all of you guys watching this vid, please sub. Because at April 14th, it's my birthday and at 30k, I'll be giving away a Terminator. They added a new talisman that buffs your dungeon items based on the number of secrets you have. It can be bought from Zord for 1 mil in a never before seen dungeon room. Right now it's selling for around 1.2 mil, so yeah, it's not really a great flip. But if you want to get it on Iron Man, the best method is to simply grind F7 dungeons. Also the admins did some weird stuff with the calculations. Basically they used to calculate your secrets by taking the number of secrets from all of your profiles, but now they've divided the secrets based on the number of secret bad kills you have. So theoretically, if your main profile has zero secret bad kills, but you found over 10,000 secrets and your other profile has 100 secrets from all secret bats, then well, it probably means your other profile is gonna get buffed a lot more. But that's no longer the case for newer profiles, as the counter is now independent for all profiles. They also added the architect's first draft that can be used to reset puzzles. It can be obtained as a secret item with a drop rate similar to the treasure talisman and is worth around 200k. Also, the admins made a mistake it seems, cause the garden was disabled for around 6 hours after this update was released, cause they encountered an unforeseen issue that affected garden milestones. Yes, they apologized so it's cool I guess. You can also customize your tab list now, like you can move stuff around, add stuff. Basically, if you don't want to use mods and make your screen look like this, you can just modify your tab list and make your screen look like this. Pretty cool. Visitors will now spawn even if you are not online in 15 minute intervals. The max is 5. They added a bulk claim button to the Jacob's Contest rewards menu. They added the swift slicer ability to the cactus knife which will increase the speed cap by 100 in the garden. Meaning with full young, a black cat and a cactus knife you can truly zoom. Also cacti can no longer destroy items and the garden desk is now accessible through the skyblock menu. There's also a new portable washer that is used to remove the spray effects. Pests will now spawn more frequently and will no longer leave the plot they were spawned in. Also they now spawn at the highest Y level, so hear me out. I think everyone should make a pest catching thing on top of their plots. Also if somebody already has done that, please let me know if it works. Also pests will now spawn even if you are offline. The max is 8. Players can now vacuum pests through blocks and the range of all vacuums has been increased to 15 blocks. You can also track pests in your SkyMart vacuum and also disable the bonus pest chance in the pest hunter accessories. Also the sprayonator shows what bait to use for each pest. The quiver arrow is now client sided so the random wipe should stop. They also made crimson void loom slightly annoying cause you'll no longer consistently spawn endermen by throwing an e-pearl in the end. Also let me know if I'm wrong but it seems you can actually drop items from the spawn endermen and they do way less damage. Yeah, some interesting things I found on the Skyblock subreddit. Here's a picture that I can write a hundred jokes on, but can see none. Some guy completely crashed the stock of stonks for some reason. It was probably the guy I talked about last week. Also, people are getting a lot of good experiment table drops. So yeah, do your daily experiments. And finally, cobblestone collection is wild right now. The final news we have is that the dojo was closed for some reason and you can get free skins from the easter guy. Also a bunch of pets have been buffed but I've already covered it in a previous video so just go watch it, I'll link it in the description. Please sub 30k before April 14th. It's such a real channel since I thank you for watching more videos. If you want to watch more videos, you can also subscribe to the channel member or maybe join the Discord and don't forget to comment in the video comments.